Well, I mean, I think for, you know, first of all, I'm not there on a regular basis, so I don't know what's happening, and I don't want to, you know, I mean, obviously Eddie Jordan had a great career as a player. He's had some success as a coach. He's been in the NBA. You know, first of all, you know, we all uh, can't get too full of ourselves. Nobody's winning at any level without having good players and good staff. Okay, so you got to definitely create a good staff, A. Hey? You got to have great relations. In you know, even though Rutgers is in the Big Ten, I don't still don't think it's a national recruit. I think you really have to try to win the obviously New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Maryland, uh, D.C. area battles to get kids. You'll have to pull an occasional junior college guy that fits. And you know, a lot of it's you know, for years we've been saying it, but to be fair to everybody who's been there, it doesn't seem like anybody has been able to do it, but sustain it in keeping the Jersey kids. Oh, Kevin Bannon almost had it. He almost got Jason Williams and um, Murphy. And that might have got him over the hump. It might have kept it there. might have kept it, got it going. So you got to get it going, and then you got to keep it going. But I, I think you also got to have the respect and the relationships with the important guys of high school and, this, and the important uh, travel team guys. You know, the guys that, because quite frankly, a lot of these kids are looking to either their high school coach or their travel team coach for some advice where to go. You know, so you've got to have those guys think you know what you're doing, thinking you work hard, thinking you can help their guy get to the NBA level or to the European level, mm -hmm. and that you have the ability to do that. And then you got to have a little bit of charisma personality that, you know, guys fit. And I think, you know, also, um, at this point, it's somebody that has a background that they've had a lot of, dealt with a lot of good players, because mm -hmm. a lot of times people are scared to be the first guy to go with somebody who hasn't had player A, B, C, or D. You know, I'm a guard. Well, hey, you coached him, him, and him. Okay, my kid's going. You're, I'm a big guy. Who is he coaching the baseline? And, you know, that's what you're going to get a lot of, um, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so, I, you know, I, I think it's something that can be done. I think one day somebody will get it done. And I, I don't see why Rutgers, when you look at basketball, football, um, at the right time and the right place, you know, I really believe one day Rutgers will be a top 20 team in football and basketball regularly, and I think they got to get there. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, they were close in football, and they kind of they've kind of slipped away a little bit. And uh, you know, uh, Coach Seattle had to go on pretty good, and they, you know, just I don't know if they needed to follow up with one more class, you know. And it was exciting. I mean, I, I'm, you know, I have no affiliation to Rutgers, but I was rooting hard for the football program. It was exciting to watch them play on Saturdays, and you know, again, basketball. When you look at the town in New Jersey, and even more New Jersey than New York now, it's it's you would you would hope if you could keep just two of the five guys every year, be a great defensive coach, that you know you can, you can get it rolling and get it done.